Alrighty, um, been wanting to make this video for a while now, but also kind of wanted to wait to do it until the car was uh, a little bit closer to what I feel is complete. Um, so yeah, let's go through the mod list and a bit about the car itself. So this is my 2010 E92 M3 um, Alpine edition. A little bit about what that means. It was a, a pretty limited trim that was only available in 2010 for these cars. Um, basically, what it consisted of was 10 mil lowering springs, just like you got on the comp pack, which came the next year. And it came with a bunch of black trim pieces on the exterior, and a bunch of body colored stuff on the interior. Stitching, armrests, stripes on the seats, etc. And door sills from the Euro only GTS model. And that's it basically. So a little bit more about this car. I've had it for over three years already, but it still feels like I just got it. Um, pretty crazy when I think about it actually. Had 38,000 kilometers on it when I got it. I'm up to 47 now. Yes, I know, I don't drive it enough. Um, it's not my only car, it's not my daily, so that's just kind of how it is. I like to take care of it and drive it, you know, when I feel like it and when it makes me feel special. Um, so, let's go through all the details now because there's a lot of super subtle but very unique de details on this car. Performance-wise, Active Auto Work ECU tune, Active Auto Work Catless X-Pipe, and Active Auto Work uh, air filter with the stock box. So uh, completely stock looking under the hood but just a better drop-in filter. Wheels and tires. 19-inch um, Apex ARC8s. 9J uh, on the front, 10J on the rear. Uh, offset on the front is plus 28. Offset on the rear is plus 25. And then I have 15 mil spacers in the front and uh, 12 mil spacers in the rear. So the offsets are effectively plus 13 on the front and the rear. Um, so you, those of you with sharp eyes might have already picked up some of the interesting details. Let's start at the front. Um, I've got a lot of IND custom painted stuff on this car, so let's go through it. This is a OEM Euro bumper, which means it has no reflectors. Um, I also opted, as you can see, for no headlight washers. Um, basically that meant I just had to uh, trim down the little uh, nub that the nozzle is held by underneath the bumper, and then just pulled out the hoses that, that run along the front of the bumper underneath. Um, I just love the super clean look. But in addition to that, these are actually M performance, genuine M performance carbon splitters on the front, but IND uh, custom molded and painted them for me. Uh, so it looks like one piece. I just wanted something a little bit different. Slight more aggression, but I didn't want to do, uh, you know, just the, the cookie cutter route of a carbon front lip like it seems everyone does with Euro bumpers. I wanted to be a little bit different. So as well at the front, these uh, uh, gloss black grills are uh, factory with the addition uh, package. You may have also noticed, yeah, it's an uh, IND painted badge as well on the hood, so no chrome around the edge, but it is a factory badge. The uh, black hood vent trim pieces are also factory with the addition package. And finally at the front, I have uh, Lux Angel Eyes, the color adjustable ones and amber LED front turn signals. So I'll cut to a shot now with those lights on. Nice amber LED to match the side markers. One other little detail I forgot to mention. Uh, these are also IND painted factory center caps, just the chrome uh, edge 
around the center cap is black rather than chrome, obviously. Um, a super, super minor detail, but I'm just OCD about those kind of things. I wanted zero chrome on the outside of this car. And now moving down the side, you might be wondering what's going on here. Well, um, if you know your E9X M3s, you'll know that on almost all the cars, the frame is black and the cap is body colored. Now, from the factory with the addition cars, the frame, so this piece here, came body colored, as you can see this is, and it came with a black cap. I decided that I wanted something different than anything else I've ever seen on there on these cars before, so I went for some white caps to match the frame, which personally I think looks super clean and different for these cars. Um, I'm just pretty over having too many black uh, offsetting pieces on the exterior of cars these days. You know, uh, just black for the sake of black and contrast for the sake of contrast. Um, it's also the reason why I went for the molded splitters on the bumper at the front. And uh, this car has the carbon roof. Obviously that was a must for me when I was looking for the car. Forgot to mention my tire specs because well, nothing, nothing interesting here, but just stock sizes. Uh, 245, 35 on the front, and 265, 35 on the rear. Pilot Sport 4S's, of course, which are an amazing tire. Um, such a huge improvement over the Pirellis that were on this car when I bought it. Uh, now at the back, more interesting deal details. The black exhaust tips are also factory that came with the addition package, but I have the stock axleback system on this car and I spray painted it flat black just to blend it in a bit more. Uh, no silly diffusers going on here. Um, now for badges, factory painted uh, IND badge and another <laughs> IND painted factory badge as well, just the chrome lip around the around the edge. Now you'll probably notice that these are LCI taillights, and that's right, the 2010s were the last year of the pre-LCI cars, so they came with the older style taillights. I switched them out for LCI taillights, but more specifically these are genuine Eurospec taillights, so the difference being they just have amber turn signals instead of red, um, which for me, you know, something that most people would never notice, but I just love the details like that. And uh, I'll cut to a shot of them flashing now. And lastly, for the exterior mods, um, this is a genuine and performance carbon spoiler, but I had IND paint it. Uh, again, because I just decided that I wanted more of the exterior features on this car to be body colored rather than black or raw carbon because I think that styling route personally is just so played out at this point. Um, not on, not just on these cars, but cars that come from the factory these days it seems. They're just cars, you know, come pre-riced out these days from the factory and I'm just over it. Um, so basically my whole idea for this car was OEM++, ultra clean, but you know, something that looks like it could have come from the factory the way it is. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention on this car is so many little details uh, that slip my mind often. The black uh, side markers are also from the factory with the addition package. So on the interior of the car, bone stock, um, but with some nice factory touches. Future mods for the interior though, I think I do want to do some seats. Not sure what kind yet, but just to get an ideal seating position and to save a little bit of weight, because these things are fat. Also, retrim steering wheel with a stripe on the top would be nice. Alcantara with a white stripe, I think that would be pretty ideal. And one other little thing, eventually I'd like to go for Euro sun visors, which just don't have the ugly warning labels on them. I have done the rod bearings on this car as well. I did that shortly after I got it. I went with B bearings. 
Um, I just, you know, the car had low mileage on it, but I just didn't feel like taking a chance. And uh, it's nice insurance for not a ridiculous amount of money. It costs just over three grand to get them done. That's, that's Canadian dollars. If you're an American watching this video, it'd probably be a bit less, depending on the shop. But to me, it was worth it. I also, for exhaust, have a, uh, a two-pipe mod to the stock rear end with all the sound deadening lift in, uh, which keeps the drone down to a minimum. But, um, and when you're cruising, it's really not bad, but when you're on it, this thing sounds pretty nuts, and you have to pick and choose where to actually put your foot down unless you want to attract a bit too much attention because it's loud.